girl KC with me, and we're gonna do an interview. I asked you guys on Snapchat and on Instagram if you had any questions for KC. So yeah, let's do it. Kayla is showing me her tattoos. So Kayla, show us your arm. Here, no, bring it here. So. And then what's on this sleeve? Or your uh, arm? Oh, this here. This one is horrible. Hello Kitty does not look good. Hello Kitty, roses. Hello Kitty smoking a blunt. Hello Wait, is she's she on cloud nine? Oh my god, she's smoking a blunt. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a guy so fucked Hello Kitty up. There's a really sad story behind Hello Kitty, actually. Tell us. No. <laughs> actually, so I'll try to make it as short as possible, but basically, I used to work at this medical marijuana shop in LA, like off of Manchester, not too far from where I live now. And whatever, it's this tattoo shop next to it. So it's this one like guy, whatever, he's super light-skinned and honestly, I don't really like light-skinned guys for a boyfriend for the most part. So he wasn't my type. On top of the fact that he was very young. So he would always try to like holler at me, holler at me, holler at me. Fast forward like maybe two years, three years later, maybe two. And I'm in Long Beach. I just moved to my apartment and it's like spring break Grand Prix. I'm like driving, looking for parking, as you have to in Long Beach. And I see this motherfucker like on a skateboard, and I'm like, fuck. And we both noticed each other. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's the little homie. The little homie from the tattoo shop. So whatever, I'm all happy because I see somebody that I know. So we start hanging out and whatever. We start talking. And he says, well, initially the whole started talking happened because he said he could do my tattoo. He's like, oh, I could color it in for you. Ladies, don't believe a guy when he fucking tells you that he can tattoo you and you haven't seen his fucking portfolio. I don't care if he has all the motherfucking tools. That's just like ladies. Do you know how many men say they're photographers just because they got a fucking, what's that guy camera? A cannon? Just because you have a cannon does not make you a goddamn Just because you have an iPhone. Just because you got an iPhone, too, that part, okay? So, yeah, me, here I go, I'm gullible, so I believe that he could do it because he was always at the tattoo shop. And he was basically supposed to be, quote unquote, the apprentice of the main tattoo artist that owned the shop that I knew. So I was trusting his word, like, okay, I believe him. I never saw, you know, his work specifically, but I believed him. Sure enough, he started tattooing me. This shit hurt so bad while he was doing it. I was ready to knock the shit out of him, and then we had to stop. And then I was like, I'm not gonna let you finish it. And once it, pretty much it got infected, it like was really bad, my skin was like, see my inside of my skin. So this is like really a, like don't do that shit. If you don't trust the person, or if you think it might be a little sketchy, go to your first mind. Cause my first mind was telling me don't let him tattoo me. But I was like, hey, it's gonna be a free tattoo. You got to You got to your, so I asked on um, Twitter if you guys had any questions and Sean said, what did you think of me when we talked on the phone? And uh, uh, that's the first question. You remember Sean? You talked to him on the phone. He won. Okay, what did you think of him? He said, what did you think of me? Do you like Sean? Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, did I like him? Yeah, yes. like as a person, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I like him as a person because I didn't meet him as a person. I met him over the phone. But, um, um, well, yeah. I was cool. Okay, and what 21-year-old advice does she have for me? So, like, maybe, is there any advice you'd have for a 21-year-old? Advice for a 21-year-old would be to don't drink and drive. Finish college, fuck what everybody else is doing, and be confident. Uh, Fred would like to know, do you prefer guys who do the dishes or guys that clean the toilet? <laughs> guys that clean the toilet or do the dishes? Yeah, you only get to pick How about one. Uh, he need to do both, actually. All right. He needs to do both. All right. Then I asked on Snapchat. I mean, no. I mean, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. And then I asked on Snapchat if you guys have any questions. Question. 
those questions were boring. I'm does she about. still talk to any of the girls? Does she still talk to any of the girls from her season? Do you talk to any of the girls from your season? Yeah, I talked to Amber, me, and Amber Buell over social media. What did your family say about your fight with Amber? They said nothing because they did not watch the show. They did not care. They thought it was a disgrace. I was a disgrace. And yeah, so anything I did was I'm stupid. I shouldn't have did it. I looked like a fucking fool because I should have never went on the show in the first place, according to them. If you could be on any other season, what season would it be and why? I'm not going to do no shots fired shit right now, but I really could. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, what season would I be on? I would probably be on, was that Atlanta with um, the redhead? Sydney? That got her face reconstructed. Oh, um, I don't know about that. I don't know who that is. You do. Erica? Erica. Oh, you know, I, no, I didn't see a picture of her after. I don't know. Right. Um, how did you become friends with Kristen? What other bad girls are you friends with? How did we become friends, Kristen? We met through Amber because I was always at her house. <laughs> um, wait, what was the rest of the question? Um, how did you become friends with Kristen and what other bad girls are you friends with? Yeah, we became friends through meeting through Amber and hanging out. Um, wait, what was the last question? I forgot. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you friends with any other bad girls? Am I friends with any other? Yes, I am. I am friends with Benzi, who... Benzi Lohan, as she calls his thing. She was out here, um, what, like two weeks ago, we hung out. Um, I completely forgot about that. I've been so damn busy. But yeah, that's one of my, we were social media friends for a very long time, and I always liked her. I just started following her. We started liking each other's shit, commenting back towards each other. And honestly, that's a sisterhood that I would like to see more often with bad girls, club girls, and not just social media talk. Like, be about it in real life. Like, don't just at me and give me kisses on social media so it can make you look good. How about hit me up if you really got my number? Like, call me. Text. Who's your... Who, Shit like that. Who is, who is your least favorite bad girl? Who is my least favorite bad girl? I have quite a few least favorite bad girls. Wow, that's hard. But I guess I would have to say for me, my least favorite would be Tiffany, because that's the person who I still be Tiffany. Somebody would like to know why you were gone from social media and the public eye for so long and why you just came back the last year. And they said they miss you. That's actually very good because I didn't think anybody noticed. Um, honestly, for me, I've been focused on school work, regular life, not TV life, so um, I know when Bad Girls Club ended, people said that they couldn't find me. I was on social media, I guess I just wasn't really um, out there, so to speak, but I didn't go to events, I didn't go to clubs, so, um, because like I said, my family didn't like that I was on that show, and then I didn't get what the girls get now for being the type of person that they are on the show, like now the bullies get praise. And they say I was a bully, which I don't think that I was a bully on the show. I just definitely feel like I fought for things that needed to be fought for and what I felt like was right. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> Do you like cats? Of course. I love cats. I love all animals. Why didn't you ever take part in a spinoff? Was that by choice or by casting? Um, not by choice, but I'm sure it's by casting because they've never contacted me about any spinoff. The only show I did after Bad Girls related to Oxygen was um, that one. I did a cameo on Love Games, but they didn't even air it. I don't think, honestly. I don't know. What is your favorite movie of all times? 
My favorite movie of all time is Don't Be a Menace While Drinking Your Juice and Food. <laughs> if you could be any animal, what would you be? Are unicorns animals? Yeah. But some people don't consider them real. I mean, they're so. a mythical creature, but yeah, you could, you could be a unicorn. No. Oh. I'd be... Fairies aren't animals, huh? <laughs> Um, oh, is there any big news? Like, what's going on in your life now? So, the what's going on in my life is... Sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, what's going on now is I am moving out of California. That's what's happening. Where are you moving to and why? Ooh, I don't want to... Okay, well, we want to say where she's moving to or why. Is there anything else you want people to know? Um, continue to follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at BadGirlKC, backed by popular demand. That's with two Ks. And I'm going to be working on some new things, but the big news that I'm revealing is that I'm moving to Oregon. So, yeah. Gonna make some connections in Oregon. Stay out there for a little while. Yay! And make it happen.